You might think the world's largest passenger plane, the A380, needs all the help it can get to come to a stop after landing. With that assumption, you'd think the A380 would have reverse thrusters on all four of its engines. However, reverse thrusters are just one tool in the A380's braking armory. When the A380 was designed, it was soon established that having reverse thrusters on all four A380 engines caused more issues than they solved. Let's take a closer look. A plane's jet engines can generate reverse thrust. This changes the direction that air leaves the engine. Rather than pushing air out of the back of the engines, the air gets directed out towards the front of the engines when reverse thrust occurs. It's a handy tool to help aircraft slow down, but not the only tool. Often, you'll see this in action on wet runways just after landing, as the airflow from reverse thrust kicks up large amounts of water. While reverse thrust does help slow an A380 and is even more useful if the runway is wet or slippery, brakes and spoilers typically play a bigger role in bringing the A380 to a stop. A380s also land at a relatively slow speed. They cross the landing threshold at 140 knots and sometimes touch down going as slow as 130 knots. Despite being bigger and heavier than a Boeing 747-400, the Airbus A380 usually comes in at a more leisurely pace. When the A380 was first designed, there was a debate about whether the plane would feature reverse thrust at all. A380s are designed to come to a complete stop using their brakes alone. Ultimately, the decision was made to put reverse thrust on two engines to help minimize the risk of aquaplaning. However, it was also decided that having this on all four of the A380's engines was overkill. So the first reason why the A380 only has reverse thrust on its two inside engines is because that's all it needs. Having it on more engines is surplus to what's needed and simply adds to the plane's overall weight and puts more stress on the wing structures. In fact, adding reverse thrust to a single A380 engine adds half a ton of weight to the plane. Given a fully loaded A380 weighs up to 1,265,000 pounds and is already expensive to operate, no one is in a hurry to load the aircraft up with more weight. There's a second reason why there isn't reverse thrust on an A380's outside engines. The A380's wingspan is 80 meters. Often, the outside engines hang close to or over the edge of the runways. The more energy those engines put out, the greater the chance of debris damaging the plane's wings and fuselage. Aircraft generate a lot of turbulence when touching down. All that air rushing forward to the moving jet, especially around the runway's perimeter, is potentially hazardous. It's not such an issue when aircraft take off, since they're leaving the turbulence in their wake. It seems unlikely that such a big, heavy plane can come to a stop on brakes alone, but there you have it. The A380 may often seem inelegant and lumbering, but at the end of the day, it's still a superb piece of engineering. Did you know that the A380 only had reverse thrust on its two inside engines? Let us know in the comments. Did you know that we publish over 175 stories every single week on simpleflying.com? Be sure to check the link in the description for more great stories just like this. Thanks for watching, and be sure to like and subscribe before you go.